Good evening, everyone. Nice to see a good group of you in here. Oh, and Aaron's in here as well. Uh, we're going to through without audio issues tonight. Uh, changed out the dynamics of the chat itself, uh, of the stream itself. So hopefully that helps. The hardware checks out. Thought that this mic was going out. I have another one on standby. If, if we have problems, hey, uh, we'll we'll make a switch and we'll try to get it done. So those of you that were here last night, thanks for hanging in with me. I know it's a little bit frustrating, but nice to see you all. And so at this point, uh, we'll just start in um, a, a sad day to hear uh, about Juan Thornhill. It was confirmed that it, that was a non-contact ACL tear. Always a tough one. Um, really disappointed for him after the, the work that he's put in, the progression that he's made. That was really great to see. Um, and I do feel for him. I think the Chiefs will will be fine. He will be uh, recoverable. Let's see. It should be May-ish. No, I probably won't have surgery until next week. So it's going to be June. So being able to maybe be there for the tail end, um, at least um, on the field, he might be able to be jogging at the tail end of OTAs. Um, OTAs for him are going to be a lot of mental work, a lot of film work, a lot of teaching. But uh, he might not even be able to go uh, when training camp opens. So be prepared for that. But um, I think he's going to be all right, though. It just will slow his progression down. But I think when he gets back on the field, 2020 is going to be a rough year for him. Always uh, for an ACL, really the second year back is always the best. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, it's too bad. You're going to see Watts in there. You're going to see Fuller in there. And that's going to be okay. It's not the same thing. Neither of them are are ready, really. I, I like what Watts showed the other day, but he hasn't been playing free. He hasn't played really free since college, and it's it's a different animal. So you, you got to be prepared for that. Fuller has been drifting back there more and more. Um, still lining up at safety, lining up at corner some. He, he's doing the jack-all-trades thing, much like Matthew, so that gives them two guys that can kind of roam all over positionally, and that's a good thing. So... Um, they're going to be all right. It's going to change a little bit. You're not going to see as much single high, although they still will do it. Uh, just have to figure out what is going on. So, um, I forgot to talk about beer. So before we go any farther, this is a double IPA that is fresh out of my keg. Uh, hopefully that'll clear a little bit more before we really get down to the, to the beef. We're just starting to taste it, but I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll probably do a write up on that on the other channel for those of you beer heads so cheers to you glad you guys are here um a lot of folks a lot of familiar names in here nice to see you all so oh it's going to be it's gonna be a long one i'm really concerned about just what this means they're gonna get some time off um i want to see them adapt i want to see them try to give somebody a chance to be that free safety. I think it's going to be Watts. Uh, I feel like he he plays the deeper end more consistently. I think Fuller's very good at coming up, but I think they really like what they found in Fuller in that he can be a jack of all trades, that he can come down in the nickel, he can play that robber, and I think that's where they want to keep him. So really, for me, it's going to be about can Armani Watts get up to speed at playing deep and being able to cover the whole field. He's pretty quick, and he does know how to make plays on the ball, so I'm, I'm optimistic about that. But they teams will stretch him. Uh, he is going to be a target from uh, you know, the Belichicks, um, the Romans of the world. They are going to stress him, so be prepared for that as well. Um, see a lot of good questions in here. I'll scroll back. I Actually, let me break this chat out, pop that out into a different window, and try to make that easier to read. And hopefully I won't fall as far behind. So you know I won't be able to keep, keep up completely, but I'm going to give it a shot, you guys. So before we go any farther, um, let's see the first double question. Okay, Marshall Smith. Who do you expect to be the primary fill-in for Thornhill? Okay, so I kind of talked about that. What do you see a committee of DBs at free safety? Yeah, I, I think they're going to hunt and peck a little bit, but I think it will eventually be Watts. So good question. Um, testicular tactics. Nice. Uh, Andy Reid didn't go for it at the end of the first half with 30 seconds and timeouts remaining. Should he have? I think he was pretty confident in what he was doing. I don't feel like Andy really presses it when he does feel like he's in good shape, and especially in that situation, knowing that he's getting the ball back to start the second half. 
I think that's why he did it. I probably would have gone, you know, and had a little more urgency about me, but that's me. Um, I, I think that's that's pretty much on on point for what Andy Reid is. Now, remember, folks, if you're new around here, hit the question marks at the beginning of your question. It helps me pick them out of the chat. Um, Super Chat's open tonight. Super Stickers are open tonight. If you want to support the channel, you can do that and ask your question. But if you do make a donation, please ask a question with it so I make sure to get you something right away. Um, No news on the shirts yet. The graphic artist says that they're hoping to be done this week. With the holiday anything, I'm not banking on it. So I will have something uh, for you, uh, something that I said the a few weeks ago on Twitter during a game about Juan Thornhill. We're going to turn that one into a shirt. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Steven Concepcion, are you concerned over Mahomes taking the check down more often? I am not because that's what he needed to do, taking what the defense was giving him and quite frankly, not forcing the issue. When you get the, the coverage that you want with the lineup that you want, then he he's more than happy to take it downtown. And I think what we saw from Hardman and Robinson on those two plays is uh, – very much so him taking advantage of what was there, and I'm perfectly comfortable with that. Uh, the check down is sometimes the best option. If they're playing three deep, four deep, and they're just standing over the back of you, even with Tyreek Hill, uh, it makes it difficult with the pressure to complete passes. So I'd rather him take the check down than get sacked. Um, Austin Taylor, how are you, bud? Um, I never asked a question. I really enjoy your insight. Well, thank you, Austin. I appreciate that. But if you do come up with a question, please uh, hit the question marks first and throw it out there, man. I am happy to answer them all. Um, Let's see. Here we go. Next is Dr. Sanitary 43. Uh, On Ryan Fitzpatrick banging the drum for the Chiefs. (laughs) Thoughts on him banging the drum for uh, the next Chiefs playoff game. I love the idea. Um, Technically, his season is over. I not. I don't think he's a free agent, though, so I doubt he would participate in another team's festivities. But you never know. I mean, after the way Andy Reid was was very uh, respectful and and happy for their, you know, saying "Hey, old Dolphins," I, I think that goes a long way. Maybe the the franchise would let him come over. I don't know. Uh, let's see, Delta Bravo. Is it possible that you might be sleeping on Watts just a bit? It's it's always possible, but I've been in Watts' corner uh, from the very beginning. I was I was his one of his biggest proponents pre-draft. Um, I think he's much better than Lucas in this defense, particularly in coverage. Um, so I've always been in his corner, and I'm trying to just kind of give you my honest opinion. Maybe I'm a little bit light just because he hasn't transitioned to this defense as well. Showed a lot of promise last season, but. He just hasn't clicked yet. Well, now he's going to get his chance, and I, I am optimistic about what he'll do. So uh, don't let me depress you any. I'm just trying to be realistic. Um, will you be shocked if when he absolutely hams it up in the playoffs? I will not at all. Uh, like I said, he is a playmaker. He always has been. Oregon Chiefs fan, do you think Pat is luring teams into the checkdowns for future bombs? I mean, it's it's all game flow. Um, I don't know that, that teams doing film study are going to be more uh, – apt to get bombed on that because they're watching him check down against the team in the game when he's checking down on you it definitely pulls you forward it makes you start to think that he's going that way on purpose and that can pull you down and get you beat over the top so definitely in the game i would agree uh michael nelson do you think that they who do you think they fill the roster spot with i honestly don't know um my guess may be elijah mcguire um just in case, I don't know what's going on with Shady. In fact, um, I talked to Matt Derrick about it today. Uh, that podcast should be up here relatively quickly. Uh, it comes out at, oh, It's probably up by now. It comes out at 6, my time. So uh, check out Matt because we both kind of feel like it's still a big question mark. It's It doesn't feel like just like they're resting Shady. I just don't know what's going on with him. So there's definitely an option for him to still do some things, but – Maybe an extra running back wouldn't hurt. I don't know. Uh, I would be shocked if they signed one someone off the street to the 53. I would expect somebody to be elevated from the practice squad. Um, Rick, buddy, thanks for your donation, pal. Um, and your question was a little bit below. I can't wait to see the kind of voodoo that Andy cooks up in the playoffs, especially considering he's, his record coming off of a bye week. My thoughts are um, I agree with you, and I think this is really key to the postseason run in being able to – 
not only for him to game plan when they find out who their opponent is, but right now they're looking at the Baltimore Ravens. Right now the coaches are starting to do some film study because they have this extra time. The, the team isn't practicing until Thursday. So they have a couple of days here. I would not be surprised at all if they're all cramming Baltimore Ravens film down their throats right now uh, until they know who their next opponent is, and then they'll, they'll attack that. Um, the plus is that they they played many of these teams that they're likely to face. Bills are the ones that they haven't, so we'll see what happens there. But uh, I do feel like this gives them some extra study on the Ravens that they'll see in the championship game if they get through the divisional game, which I do expect. So, um, yeah, I, I think it's a great advantage. Hawk Farmer, do you think we will see Tyreek Hill at running back on jet sweeps now and, or at punch returner? I, I, think, I think it's all holds barred at this point. I think Andy will go with a pretty vanilla look to start. He'll run his 15 and see what he gets. <clears throat> if his first 15, if his scripted plays in the first 15 are not successful, then it's start time to get funky. Um, because it's one and done, because everybody has to win, then it's all holds barred. So, uh, Or no holds barred, I mean. So I do think you might see Tyreek Hill in the backfield. You might see him return kicks too. Although with Hardman, you know, I think he's earned the right to continue to return kicks. Um, so we'll see. Um, that was Rick Buddy's question. Okay, Anthony Boyd, Ryan, do you really think uh, the offense has played a true game since the Raiders game one of the season? I don't think they are really firing on all cylinders and they need to play a complete game. Anthony, that's not a, a, a bad point. Uh, Travis Kelsey the other day did not look good. I don't know what's up with him after, after weeks of him being the primary target and, and delivering, it, it looked a little shaky. They looked like they were not communicating. Um, I didn't like the drops from him and Demarcus Robinson. So I agree with you. I, they don't, they do look like they need a little bit of oomph. Now, I don't know if that's because the game plan was dialed back a little bit. Um, I, I don't know the specifics of that, but. I definitely feel like they do need a kick in the pants. Uh, Michael Rodriguez, how thankful are you we don't have to play Tennessee? I'm pretty thankful. Um, there is a scenario, though, you never know. If the Ravens stumble and lose and the Titans win, the Titans come to Arrowhead. Um, so there, there is a way. I don't want to see it. Uh, while I do feel that they've learned their lesson, they learned their lesson from this season and not playing uh, Pinnell, I don't want to see them have to prove it again. So I think I think the Titans are going to surprise some people. I think the Titans are probably going to win that game. I just feel like they're firing on all cylinders between Tannehill and A.J. Brown, complementing what they get in the run game from Derrick Henry. I really feel like the Titans have a shot to, to knock out those Patriots in the in the wild card. Um, young Adam, do you think E.B. is gone after the season to the Browns or Panthers? I don't think he is. I really don't. We haven't heard what we heard from um, the weeks previous when Nagy jumped and when uh, Doug Peterson got jobs. Just not enough play calling on his own, being responsible for the entire offense. We heard the last two weeks that he started to have some influence, but we haven't heard, hey, he's calling this game. And so that's kind of where I, I delineate it. Um, Eric Bieniemy is a smart man. I don't think he takes the, the Browns job, even if it's offered. That would be a mistake. The Browns culture is broken. I don't, I don't believe that Freddie Kitchens was the guy that, to take that job, but he also got done dirty. Uh, from what I hear, Dorsey had said that he was going to be all right, and then they fire him immediately at the game. That is a culture problem all the way up to John Dorsey, much like we heard about after Dorsey left. So there are issues there, and any smart coach that has some self-respect and is not – concerned about when he becomes a head coach, but where. I think Eric Bieniemy will not take that job, even if offered. Um, let's see. Jerry Cole, what about Fenton? I thought Fenton did a, a decent job to start. A little rusty. Um, like to see what he does this next week. So he will play with, with the loss of Thornhill. That puts Fuller into his, more of a safety role, uh, less corner snaps, uh, more of what we've been seeing. And so Fenton will have a, a role at corner. Um, I thought he did okay outside in the snaps that I saw too, but you know, you really need Breland in there and Ward in there. Those are your top two. Uh, you got to have them. So I don't know what's going on with Mo Claiborne. He can give you some relief snaps, but he can't. I don't think he can be a starter and hold up all day. So that's something to be concerned about too. 
Um, General Sports Talk, do you think Thornhill have any AC, ACL problems in college? Uh, no. I, from what I remember, I don't have a scouting report in front of me, but he did not have any knee injuries in college. So I, I don't think that it's a pattern. I don't think it's anything to be concerned with. Uh, I think you, you just want to roll with it make sure that he gets the – the surgery done as soon as possible. And once the inflammation has gone, make sure he gets the rehab. He seems like a very driven guy. He seems like a very focused guy. Um, and I think that bodes well for his recovery and his ability to focus on doing what he needs to do. So I'm, I'm very optimistic about him. Andy, uh, Andy Anderson. I don't know who fills the spot. I think it might be McGuire, but that's just me. Uh, they, they might bring in uh, another DB. I, I don't know. Uh, Chris P. Thanks for your donation. Appreciate it. Uh, is it really load manager for McCoy or is he in the doghouse? That's the question. I don't know. And it might even not even, it might not be either of those things. It might just be that he's not as explosive as he was. And Andy's trying to give him as much time off to rest and not put mileage on his legs um, so that he can be explosive in the post game, in the postseason. Th that's what I'm thinking. I don't really think it's a doghouse thing. Um, I, I think it's, it's just extreme load management is what I would call it. Uh, Gerald Colvin, is it going? What's going on with Watkins? Do you think that he's been so quiet lately? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's it's partly uh, where Mahomes looks, or the fact that Sammy is not the guy that gets the most separation on this roster. Um, Sammy wins with his body quite often until he gets ahead of steam. So, yes, he's super fast, but he's not that explosive in short area. And sometimes that's what Mahomes wants. So I I don't know. I think it's more of a chemistry thing. I think at this point, I doubt that he's back. Um, I don't. I doubt even a restructure is a possibility. So, hey, it is what it is. MD Van, um, do you think that Damian Williams has turned a corner in the run game? Um, I do feel like he's running very hard, and I think we're we're seeing the best Damian Williams we can see right now, much like we saw in the postseason last season. Um, but in turned a corner, I don't think he's getting better. I think he's just playing it, it close to his peak. Um, and I think what we've seen so far this season has honestly been a little bit lackluster. So I think that's more of the variant there. Maryland man, do you think that uh, who do you think will play first? Do you and do you believe will be one game and out of the playoffs? I don't. I believe this is an AFC Championship team uh, game team at the very least. Um, and, and I think it's going to be the Bills. Um, I feel like the Bills are on the roll. I think the Texans are sliding a little bit. Um, and I really think the the underdogs win on Wild Card Weekend in the AFC. So that, that's kind of where I'm feeling it right now. Um, so that would be, let's see, if both the, the Bills and the Titans win, as long as Baltimore wins, then it would be the Bills that come to Airhead. Uh, anyone available at DBs out there for insurance? Not really, Oregon. Um, the, the cupboard's bare. Uh, Jenkins did get picked up by somebody, I think. So that's not out there. I think it's just got to be a wait and see. It, you got to play with the guys that you got. Um, they do have uh, they do have a couple of DBs on the practice squad, so you can always pull from there. I think that's probably the most likely. Carliners, you talked about doing play-by-play -play a couple games ago. What's going to happen this season or next? Yeah, my connection kind of put the kibosh on that. I'm still working with them. Um, it's, a, it's a site called Hot Mike, and I, we're trying to figure out a way that I can just broadcast audio. Um, so the things that we've experienced here on these chats doesn't happen live. Um, and if I can do that, hopefully I can do it for the playoff games. Uh, I'm working on that probably this week to try to get that up and running and do some testing. So keep an eye out for that, Stephen. Uh, I will let you guys know. Uh, I'd love to have you all come over there. And especially if I just do audio, you could just put it on. Uh, it will sync to your television feed. Sometimes you have to pause for like 10, 15 seconds in order for satellites and cables to uh, cable companies to uh, catch up. And once you do that, it will sync to your audio. And then we'll be basically watching it in tandem and I'll be doing the calls. So you can still have the TV on. You can still have the, the audio on that and you know put headphones in or, or headphone in uh, from your phone and listen to me. And I'll tell you what I'm seeing live. Um, so that's the concept. I'm just hoping that it'll work out. Um, Denny, live from the island. So Fuller's the new one safety. I think so. I for right now, that's that's safe. I think Watts will eventually get back there because I think I think what, Fuller can do more of what Spags wants him to do in terms of versatility and, and going different places and keeping the opposing quarterback confused. 
that's super important. So uh, I do think that's what Fuller's role is going to be. Um, Jack Hilliard, your take on Suggs. Uh, I think Suggs is, is, is a nice addition. I think he is bolstering what uh, Tyron Matthew and Frank Clark have already started in giving these guys some some confidence, some edge to them. And, and nobody has ever said that Terrell Suggs doesn't have edge. So that kind of juice, I think, feeds into a team at this point. I don't think that it's a coincidence that Frank got healthy and Juan Thornhill got good so that Tyron Matthew could start exploding and really taking his game to the next level. I think Suggs is another linchpin on top of that that really helps push this team forward in terms of confidence, execution, aggression. I do, I like it all. Uh, Brett Burns, do you feel the offensive plan was too conservative? Not for a week 17. Uh, when you just got a hold court, I think it was fine. Anthony Boyd, uh, do you think our best game of the year was in the snow in Denver, the first Raiders game? Why doesn't Andy get the killer instincts put teams away like the Ravens do? Um, Andy's been in the league a long time. He doesn't like to embarrass people. He's been on the opposite end of it. So that's my thinking. I can't tell you that for certain. Um, and quite frankly, I think the snow game was the better game, uh, especially for the offense. Um, let's see. Aaron Morrow, your mod, folks. Uh, give him a hand for doing the dirty work. Um, he asked, who wins the NFC conference? That's a great question. And you can say anything you want to say about uh, the Niners, um, about Aaron Rodgers in the pack, that the, they, they squeaked it out and got there. My money is still on the Seahawks and the Saints to be in that NFC championship game. And I'm leaning towards the Saints. Um, I just, I don't know. Something rubbed me wrong about the way the Seahawks played yesterday. Uh, and, I, and I just feel like the Saints are going to be the ones that, that can really power through. Um, DJ Holmes, who do you think the Chiefs might see in round two, Titans or Texans? Um, I'm actually leaning towards Bills right now, but uh, they won't see the Titans unless the Ravens lose. Um, can you send Andy a shot collar so they can zap him back uh, and just step down their throats? Oregon, I'd, I'd love to do something that would remind him. I'm not going to go there, Coach, in case you're watching or anybody from Chiefs is watching. Uh, but, yeah, I, I would like to remind him. I'd like to have a little, little earbud that I could – I could call and say, hey, co coach, go hit him again. Don't, don't give up yet. <laughs> Jamie Franklin, can you do film on Terrell Suggs? Yeah, uh, he's he's got a couple of plays that I'm going to pull uh, for the film room here. I'm going to try to work on that tomorrow. I, I don't think I'll have it until probably Thursday till New Year's, but um, I got folks in town and that kind of thing. So I, I'll try to get it for you before this next uh, weekend. Uh, let's see. Ralph Drees. Um, should we let Fitzmagic bang the drum? Yeah. Hey, I'm all for it. I think that'd be fun. Um, okay. Lost something. Hold on. Scrolling back up. Okay. There we go. Marshall Smith. Um, uh, thanks for your donation, Marshall. Uh, why couldn't we stop Gordon on those sh short hitch routes? Um, uh, didn't seem like Matthew, uh, played as much robbery yesterday. Huge gaps up the middle all day long. Yeah, there, there were some gap discipline problems yesterday, um, which is weird because the, the Chargers' interior offensive line isn't that great. Uh, and the change without Juan Thornhill, uh, Matthew had to play deeper more. Uh, wasn't able to really make those jumps. When Thornhill was in there, it seemed like Matthew was blitzing fairly often. I haven't rewatched the entire game, but that that's my, my feel for it. Just a combination of things, and, and quite frankly uh, – Week 17 is always tough to get motivated for. I thought they came out a little flat all the way around. Uh, let's see. Jerry Cole, your thoughts on Breland and his illness. I don't know what that illness was. It certainly seemed to affect him. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned. I, you don't want to miss a game with him, but he's got time, so I'm not going to be too worried about it unless he misses practice. They're going to practice Thursday and Friday. They have Saturday off, and then they're going to go um, – I think they have Sunday off too, or they might just have treatment. Then Monday they start in on a regular schedule. So um, we should know. We should have updates, and I'll let you guys know. Casey K, do you think that we – who do you think will play in the Super Bowl? I think it will be the 49ers. I'm leaning towards the Saints. I think Niners would probably be my third choice. I think the Seahawks um, are going to get their revenge on them if they face them again. So uh, I'm going to go Saints, Seahawks, Niners are my, are my thoughts. Curtis Douglas – I uh, feel like the Titans are likely to beat the Pats. Agree. Do you think 
Oh, okay. I said that. I, I do feel like it's the Bills right now, so we'll see if that comes true. Uh, Marshall Smith, another one. Thank you, dude. Um, does Thornhill's absence limit what Tyron can do? Yes, it does. He has to play back a little bit more. Um, they got to get Watts or Fuller up to speed so that he feels comfortable getting after it in in the gap, in the middle at the robber spot. Um, if he goes all the way down at the line of scrimmage, I think they're okay because that's, that's more of a schematic thing. He... It's the instinctual kind of improvisation that he needs to have trust in the guys behind him, and he's got to develop that pretty quickly. Hog Farmer. Um, Andy mentioned the cold virus was moving through. Maybe Kelsey had it. Could be. Uh, I haven't heard that from anybody uh, who's been in the locker room or, or interviewed anyone, so I'm, I'm not certain. Jake asks, what's your favorite flavor of hot wings? Um, I am a dry Cajun rub guy. Do you think that Fenton should get more time on the field? Yeah, and I think he will, Poon. Um he definitely is going to with uh, with this injury because Fuller's not going to be taking uh, nickel snaps anymore. He's got to be playing safety. David Angel Molina, thank you, David, for your donation. I think that the Chiefs have the best team, and Mahomes is still the best quarterback. Um, I agree with you uh, that Mahomes is still the best quarterback. I think that Ravens have been playing very well on both sides of the ball, and right now I might give them a little bit of an edge just in, in overall. And, and like some of you guys have said, their ability to, to keep the gas all the way down until the end. So, but I'm with you. Uh, let's see. Ryan Gordon, thanks for your donation. Do you think that the Reed's experience that he used in the offense in such a way to pressure our defense while and giving them confidence? And, and that's a very good point. Um, being able to dial it back a little bit eases up the offense in terms of how much he shows and how many. Um, crazy concepts he gives away, but it also puts pressure on the defense to come through and be more solid. And I think that it's a subtle balancing act, and I think that's what a, a really good head coach can do by feeling out how his his players feel. That's the big deal. So, yeah, that's a very good point, and I'm glad you brought it up. I think that is true. Streamer Gods, does it seem like Hitchens is becoming a field general out there? He seems more comfortable setting up teammates. Also, who is the most improved defensive player? Wow, that's a very good question. Um, I don't know that he's becoming more of a field general. I think he's always tried to be. I think he understands, and honestly, I think the defense is more suited to what he can do. Uh, he and Reggie have been good all season about trying to get the D linemen aligned right. Um, but being able to then take that, check that off, and go get somebody, I think that's what you're seeing out of Hitchens the last few weeks. Uh, that is uh, an improvement, and that's it's very welcome. Um, who's next? Ivan. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, Evan. <clears throat> Thanks for your donation. I think that Mahomes will make less. Will take less money like Tom Brady did to get players in KC. And can the Chiefs really beat Baltimore this time around? I do believe that Patrick won't be breaking the bank, but. It's not going to be a deep discount like Brady did. Brady had made $100 million before he started doing that. So that's pretty significant. Uh, I think this first contract, I think Patrick will take more because he is raking it in in endorsements. And I do feel like he is a team first guy. I could be wrong. But I don't think it's going to be a deep discount. I think it will be slightly less, uh, that he's open to slightly less than than the huge blockbuster. Uh, but it's still going to be gigantic. Um, I don't think it's going to be a huge uh, you know, amount off, but hey, take it. Uh, and yes, I do believe that they can beat the Ravens. As much as the Ravens offense has improved since the last time the Chiefs beat them early in the season, the Chiefs defense has improved that much as well. So I think it's a really good matchup. I think it is going to be the AFC championship game. Uh, and I do think that the Chiefs can win and get to the Super Bowl. Scott Mason, does Ragland play more in the postseason? If it's against the Titans, if the Titans win and get to the place where the Chiefs play him? Yes, definitely. Um, if the Bills win, I do think he will play more. Um, I think what you're seeing with him, too, is that Spags is starting to really know where to use him. Blitzing B-gaps, not necessarily on the edge, but on the edge some as well. Uh, he's got enough pass rush that it's really kind of a bonus. He doesn't have to be an off-ball Sam linebacker all the time. Uh, I really like Reggie's game, uh, and if he keeps performing like this, don't be surprised if he comes back. I do, I won't be. Um, good question, Scott. Ryan Platt. Um, happy New Year to you too, buddy. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Jeremy Jones. 
Is it me or did Patrick seem to be throwing timid yesterday? I realized the pass rush was prevalent, but still. Um, yeah, like I don't know that it was him being timid. The pass rush was getting there. They were dialing up the the screens to try and take advantage of that. But he definitely the, – the pressure was getting to him before his guys were getting clear in the secondary. Um, that is a good secondary in, in – I almost said San Diego again in L.A. Um, and they were playing cover three quite a bit. I haven't watched all the all 22. I, it hasn't come out for me yet. Should be out sometime tonight, and then I'll know more. Uh, Streamer Gods, would Thornhill's ACL put him out until the start of preseason next season? Uh, yeah, it, it, it should. Uh, he should be running there by the time training camp opens. Maybe he can jog at the last week of OTAs, but he's not going to be able to participate. It's going to be a mental thing for him watching film and that. Steven Concepcion, um, can we trade Hitchens for a draft pick? I don't think you're going to get any takers. They could try, but I doubt it. Um, Preston B60, what about the CBs on this defense? Got to keep them together. Uh, they're all you got. Um, in my opinion, they have three number two corners in Ward, Breland, and uh, Fuller. I like Fuller better at safety now. Uh, that transition, like I could see him moving – to safety full time, and I could see the Chiefs re-signing him or extending him as a safety, um, or or what they'll do with Ron Parker when they just started calling him DB. Um, I, I'm perfectly comfortable with that. I think they found a role for him that really works, um, but I do feel that everybody else is at best a CB two, and they still need a prime time shutdown CB one. David Angel Molina, do you think that the Chiefs will get Eckler from the Chargers? What do you think? He has great hands. He does have great hands. He's explosive and he accelerates really well. He's decent in quick area and short area quickness. Um, that's important too. I think the problem with both him and Melvin Gordon, I'd love to see either of them. I was a big Gordon fan coming out. I don't think either of them are going to be affordable enough. Uh, the Jones deal is going to be huge. It, even if he just signs a franchise tag, it's going to be pretty big, like 18 million plus. So that and the Mahomes deal looming, it's going to be tough to squeeze in any high-dollar free agents. You're going to see linemen probably uh, along the O-line. Uh, you could see a linebacker. But, you know, like a high-deal um, running back deal, I just can't see them squeezing that into the cap. Uh, testicular tactics. Will big contracts for Mahomes and Chris Jones make us mediocre like the Seahawks after Russ got paid? That's the concern. Um, but Veach is very aware of that, and Veach is good at restocking with young talent. Reed is not afraid of young talent, and that's what the counterweight is, is to continually bolster your roster with rookies that have potential to grow so that as your, your veterans age and they get too expensive to, to retain on second and third contracts that you replace them with rookies. Um, it's got to be a very active way to manage the cap. Um, especially when you're talking about a deal that is going to be the biggest quarterback deal in history. Uh, and is going to be, in my opinion, it's going to be over $200 million. I just don't know what the length is or what the per year is going to be. But if Dak Prescott thinks he's going to get $30 million, Patrick's getting forty, and And not pushing it is my opinion. Uh, yeah. Scott Willis, is it possible that they're holding on to McCoy in case D. Williams get injured again? Sure. Um, that's definitely true. And the thing about Damian Williams is he doesn't recover quickly, and I don't feel like he pushes to recover. I don't feel like he's uh, an aggressive return-to-action guy. I think he he sometimes lingers on injury maybe longer than he should. Um, so I think that is definitely a concern. Um, let's see. Info Apocalypse. Special teams coach is not generally in the same consideration for head coach or, as, or uh, offensive or defensive coordinator. Have you seen some asking why Tobe hasn't gotten interviews? That is the thing. A head coach, there, there's two ways you can do it. You can take half the field, like an offense or a defense, and be in charge of it and be a head coach. Or you can be a leader of men, and that's really where it comes down to. Dave Tobe is well-respected as a leader of men, but calling X's and O's, it's rare to see a special teams guy become that. Uh, not rare. It just doesn't happen as often as, as it does for O and D coordinators. So you, you do, you're on to that correctly. Um, but then again, it's not out of the realm of possibility at all either. So John Harbaugh started as a special teams coach. Uh, so it's definitely a, a possibility. Uh, Pundadon, why do you think that Reed ran so many option plays? Uh, because they were trying to isolate. Uh, they had cover three deep 
Um, wasn't going to let anybody get behind them. Um, they were trying to get the ball into some playmakers' hands and not really stress Patrick. Uh, and quite frankly, Bosa's over-aggressive half the time. Um, I, I think the Chargers got the lesser of the Bosa brothers, to tell you the truth. So I, I think that that's something there to be taken advantage of. Uh, Justin Trouba, do you think we can keep Dan next season or let him go? I think that's a tough one. Um, the way they've used Dan this year has been exactly the way that I would have used Dan. Um, and I think he's been valuable. Uh, he's earned his contract this year, in my opinion. Uh, I cannot say that any other year prior. So I think they'll find a way to try, but it's just about the dollars and cents now. They like this dime look, though. Here's the thing. It may come down to Fuller or Sorensen, and I think Fuller will win that contest. Uh, Chris, in real life, do you think that uh, a buy would help or hurt momentum that we have right now? I think it'll only help. Uh, there's a couple of guys missing. I think you need to get that figured out more so uh, than than anything else about losing momentum. So that's just my take. Um, let's see. Daryl Sparks. Ren, do you th feel about Rivers and Chris Jones still being friends after the game? I don't care. Doesn't bother me at all. If they can get along off the field, more power to them. But I, I have no input on that. I know I was when I was a player, but hey, that was a long time ago. Pono Kawhi, um, how's it, Ryan? Does Veach franchise tag Chris Jones next season? If he does, does Jones walk? Better pay him. Um, I know last season I felt that he would get the franchise tag. Since then, he he's earned some goodwill by coming into camp, being in shape, and playing hard. So <laughs> I do feel like now the tide may have turned and they do want to resign him, and they're not worried about um, – him not being able to continue to perform once he gets paid. So I, I feel it's more likely that he gets a contract now than he gets franchise tags, whereas at the beginning of the season, I thought the opposite. Um, Jerry Cole, do you see two tight end setups with Kelsey and Bell in the red zone in the playoffs since we can't seem to get the run game consistently? I, I don't think that helps you. Neither of them are particularly great blockers. So maybe as distractions, I'd like I'd rather much rather see more motion out of them than anything else. Um. Ray Booth, who do you think replaces EB? That's a good question. I don't, I don't know what Mike Kafka's um, personality is, but to step into that role after be Eric enemy, Eric B enemy, you have to have a big personality. You have to be able to stand up and motivate grown men. Uh, you have to get them to follow you. That's a tall order, and I really don't know. Um, Mike Sherber got fired today. Kyle's dad. Um, I will not be surprised if in some way, shape, or form, whether it's an OC or um, a special consultant role like they had with Chile, I would not be surprised to see Shermer attached, two Shermers attached to this this organization in, in the future. Um, old friend Andy Humberg. Everybody say hi to Andy. <clears throat> would you rather fight a 100 duck-sized moose or one moose-sized duck? Yeah, uh, I'd rather go with the one. I can find a way to, to beat one moose sized duck i'm pretty sure thanks andy <laughs> tranview how likely is it that <clears throat> that uh andy was held back the offense of genius to let the floodgates open the playoffs i think it's a possibility i wouldn't call it floodgates but i know he has things up his sleeve so i do believe that that's coming mike hall can the defense with pinnell suggs raglan stop the physical running attack in the playoffs enough to win i do believe they can and they will need saunders and naughty uh, and Xavier Williams to some point is much, but Mike Pennell, Reggie Ragland are the two guys that make the difference in the run game. Suggs helps as well. Um, Suggs has to do it now because they don't have the guys like Okafor and Ogba who had done it. So it's not like there wasn't anybody doing it before. It's just when you lose those guys, you have to replace them. Uh, and I do feel that they'll be able to do that. Humberger, the man. Uh, Norman Shurek, how do you think the Chiefs stop Titans run? Henry's a handful. That's very true, and it's by staying in the base. It's by blitzing Reggie and Damian uh, and letting Hitch run around the top, to tell you the truth. Uh, it has to come from the interior triangle of the middle linebacker and the two D tackles. That's how you stop the run game in Tennessee. 
Everybody else has speed. So if Henry, if they start running zone outside or they run pitches or they get Henry to the edges, there's enough speed on the Chiefs defense to come get him. It's when he busts through the middle that destroys everything. So it's got to be the middle linebacker. The Sam linebacker can help, and that'd be Ragland, uh, along with the defensive tackles. I'd love to see him run a 43 against it and cover the guard center guard and have backers in there, but that leaves you susceptible. And the, the thing that has developed for the Titans lately is that Tannehill and A.J. Brown are really clicking. So if you were to do that, now they have something over the top of you, which last year and years past, they didn't have. Good question, Norman. Um, let's see. Scott Mazer, your thoughts on Watson, his plays his new role. I hit that at the top, Scott. You must have come in late. Um, I thought he showed a lot. I think he's got a long way to go, but I do feel he's going to be a guy that's going to be in the mix and maybe somebody that helps Fuller play the deep safety role, and I'm okay with that. Um, that's where I like him best. I like Lucas up closer to the line of scrimmage, and I do think that Armani is the better player. Um, let's see. Ralph Drees, do you have uh, have you seen the schedule for 2020? Do you think they'll be gifted a 14 win season this year? I had them winning 14 this year, and I was wrong. Um, I missed a couple of games. I haven't seen the 2020 schedule. I am so focused on doing this right now. Um, I'll look at that after the season. B Entertainment, do you think Darwin Thompson is starting to show uh, he has a spot to do more? Uh, yeah, he's he's progressing slowly. The fact that they had him in on a few third downs yesterday really says a lot about how they feel about him, and that's definitely worth noting. Um, I like the way that he runs inside. That's my biggest takeaway. I knew that he had some explosion uh, on the edges, but I really like what I've seen from him running inside the tackles. Uh, SJM, who is more suited for free safety, Watts or Fuller? I, right now, I think it's Watts. Um, Ponokwai, any should utilize more gadget plays with Tyreek and McColl. Uh, should drive the defenses local. Yeah, I think that's a great idea, and I, I think you're going to see some of that. Uh, Finn, 2187, I hope you're enjoying this week with the, the latest movie. I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. Um, Saunders' progression. Saunders has taken several steps forward. He hasn't played with as much intensity lately. Um, he started getting double teamed a couple weeks ago, and that's n not helped him. He can fight off double teams, but he's definitely better one-on-one, -on -one, and he's got to get back to being explosive. Um, right now, they have him kind of uh, getting getting the double teams and slanting away. If he can just penetrate gaps, I think he's going to be in much better shape. But I do feel that he has made quite a good progression for a rookie, especially coming from the level of competition he was at in college, and that's a significant thing. Zach Brown, do you think that we will have more trick plays with Danny in the office, in the postseason? I do. Um, I think there are definitely wrinkles that are going to come out. Some familiar um, and, and some new. Uh, Ian Ballard, any projections for the Chiefs might take in the first round of the draft? I haven't even gotten there, but um, I'll tell you the guy that I like a lot, and because he's been overshadowed by some teammates this year at LSU, he's fallen a little bit. I like the cornerback Christian Fulton for the Chiefs in the in the thirty to 32 pick. Uh, sounds like he's going to be there because he's got teammates that have leapfrogged him a little bit. But I like the way he plays. He's physical enough. He's strong enough. He's instinctual. Uh, and I, I feel like he has the makings of a, of a true CB1. Oregon Chiefs fan, why is Pringle so limited every time he touches the ball? It seems to be a Im big impact play. Uh, you know, it's just that there's other guys ahead of him um, with more experience and, and more repertoire with Mahomes. Uh, with Robinson, I don't think Robinson gets re-signed. This is last year of contract. I do think Pringle has a bigger role next season. Steve Concepcion, um, does Veach get your vote for GM of the year? I won't go that far, but I am very happy with what he's done. Um, I have to say that uh, what um, what's his name is done in Buffalo has been very impressive. I feel like he's done a very good job, probably a little bit better. He started out with less, and I think he's gotten to a very similar position. Curtis Douglas, um, love seeing Suggs do the chop against the Rivers. I'm with you. Uh, where do you think Rivers plays next year? Do you think Brady stays with the Pats? I think Brady takes Rivers' spot and is in L.A. Uh, I think Brady and his wife and his brand would like to be in the big L.A. market. Um, and I think he's going to try. Therese and, uh, Therese and Charles talked about a possibility where Brady goes to L.A. and demands that uh, McMinney come with him. Uh, I think that's a, a live scenario. 
Uh, I think that's definitely something in the future. I don't know that anybody resigns Rivers. If if anyone does, I think it's the Chargers, but I'm not convinced that's going to happen. They have to. The Chargers have to transition to a young quarterback, and I don't see Philip Rivers being mentor. So I, I think that's really what it comes down to. Evan, are you going on vacation again for the AFC Championship game? No, I worked it out. Good point, Evan. I worked it out. Uh, I will be at the Big Beers Festival, but it's on Pro Bowl weekend, finally. And it's not the Big Beers Festival. It's that weekend. I'm not going there. I'm going somewhere else uh, for all the the beer research and all that. Uh, My normal getaway with the boys for uh, craft beer weekend. Uh, Going Pro Bowl weekend. So I will be through the AFC Championship solid and steady, and then I'll be back for the Super Bowl. All will be well. Um, yeah, it's been killing me, and the guys were really nice in uh, in adjusting our plans. We've been doing that going on eight or nine years now, so uh, it takes some doing. Let's see. Eric Streeter, do you think the Chiefs will sign another safety or cornerback with Thornhill out? It will not be Eric Berry, folks. I've had a lot of people ask me on Twitter. Eric Berry cannot play. He's, he's had an ability to sign with multiple teams. He's been to workouts. Nobody wants to sign him. He's not healthy enough. Eric Berry's not coming back. Uh, I don't think there's anybody out there that's worth signing. So I think if they bring somebody up, it would be from the practice squad. Um, Chris Douglas, yes. I think Fuller, if he does move to safety, does mean the end of Sorensen. Um, let's see. Chris in real life, <clears throat> do you think that the buy would help or hurt the momentum we have right now? All right, I answered that earlier, Chris. Sorry, I'm a little bit behind on the on the scroll on the chat here, but I'm getting there. Um, let's see. Answered that one. Answered that one. Answered that one. Scott Macy, do you agree that the stats of the second seed with a buy at 79% to win it? Um, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it should be that much, but if that's what their stats say, I'm not going to argue with them. Um, let's see. Put a quiet, uh, sign a backup QB with a little more upside, more another year older, Mariota, Hawaii Rocks. I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing Mariota in Kansas City as backup. I, I think someone's going to give him a shot to be a starter again, though. So, um, you know, I, I hope so. I, he was my favorite quarterback coming out. I think Jameis Winston has more than justified my opinion of both of them. Um, <clears throat> let's see. I talked about Fenton. Uh, Scott Mesa, I don't know that Suggs plays again. I think this is this is Suggs' chance to get a ring. I think he's going to put everything he has into it, and I think he may hang it up. Nathan Roth, will Watts or Lucas get more snaps during Thornhill's injury? It'll be Watts, at least to begin with, um, and I hope that he earns more as he goes. Uh, will Mahan, I think that's how you say it, um, was getting rid of DeAnthony Thomas a bad move, or is the low price tag and extra speed could he bring to this team? I, I think it would have cut into McCole Hardman's snaps. Um, and definitely his returns. So, no, I'm not going to say it was a bad move. Um, let's see. Zach Brown, thanks for your donation. Do you think the Chiefs could trade up this draft? They could. Um, it depends. If they fall in love with the guy, if there's if there's a corner or a linebacker that they really love, they could they could move up. Um, you know, there's 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 O line, there's a ton of wide receivers in this class that they can go get. Uh, in later rounds. So, yeah, it makes sense. If there's somebody that can really make an impact, since you didn't get Pat Peterson, um, I think it's worth going to get. Okay, folks, we're getting down closer to the end here. I'm looking for question marks. Testicular tactics. I'm a pessimist. I say that KC will be like Philly and that they will only win when Andy leaves. and will put one of his protégés who put the boot to the neck of the teams. I say it's Tobe. Uh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Every team's different. Um, and he's been to the bowl before. I think he can get there again. I think with this particular group, with the the edge that he has in the locker room, I think he can get there. Does the Patriots a dynasty end Scott Meza? I think it's on its last legs. I think it may – if they lose the wild card game, I think it crumbles. I think Brady goes elsewhere, and I think it all falls apart. Curtis Douglas, what happened to the naughty elbow? Notice he was wearing a huge brace on it. He's had the brace on for going on six or eight weeks. Um, it doesn't seem to be affecting him. I think it's more for support at this point. He had a hyperextension at, at one of the mid-season games. Um, that's all it is. He's just fighting through it. He's a tough dude. Jamie Franklin, um, how much of a big contract would Chiefs sign for if they keep him? They can't afford much. That's the problem. I think he's making seven or eight now. He can't go over that. 
Um, let's see. Richard Triplett. <clears throat> Seems like Andy doesn't like Shady's fumbling. Do you think that that's why he's not playing? I don't. I think Reed has has faith in him, whether he fumbles or not, um, unless it becomes like a serious string of them. So I think he's just trying to rest him and trying to make him as explosive as he can in the three games that they had to play in the, in the postseason. Um, Adam Daughtry, what's your thoughts on the tackling of late? I'd like it to be better, thanks. Um, who will start for Juan Thornhill, Long Beach? I think it's going to be Watts for the time being. Or it may be Fuller, and Watts comes in, and Fuller slides into more of that robber role like we've seen him doing. Um, let's see. Okay. Off topic, have you gone to San Francisco Beer Week? I have not been uh, to San Francisco Beer Week. I have heard it's great. Um, I've been to Beer Week in Seattle. I've been to um, um, the beer, the big beer fest in LA. I've been to those. I haven't done the San Francisco though one, uh, Captain Crunch. Uh, I appreciate that though. I'll I'll look into that. Maybe I can get the boys to make a trip with me. <laughs> um, Casey K, you're not going to get a hunt reunion. I know you want it, man, but it, it's not happening. Clark Hunt is not going to allow him to be resigned here. Uh, he's a restricted free agent anyway, so it, no one's getting him. He's going to be a Brown. John Dorsey takes risks, and he doesn't always make the greatest decisions, but he's not going to blow that one. Um, let's see. Brandon Peterson, your reaction yesterday when you saw the Dolphins won. Um, I was hooping and hollering. I was really happy for them. Uh, eh, about the same as everybody else, I suppose. Um, you know, I'm an analyst first, but uh, I'm st I still pull for the Chiefs. I'm still a fan. I just try not to show it that much. Um, let's see. Evan I, does Anthony Sherman TDs get TDs in the postseason? I certainly hope so. He deserves it. Um, and I want to see them just, you know, short goal line situation, just cram it down somebody's throat. I don't care which team it is. Just get it done. Um, I don't have any update on Blake Bell for those of you asking. Um, do, 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 do. You plan on going to the first KC game in Vegas? Well, that's a good question. I actually had a conversation Um one of my best friends, an ex-Marine, is a Raider fan. And we are talking about trying to go in there, um, land in the morning, go to the game, get sideways, and go get back on a plane that night. So that that's kind of my plan. I'll let you all know if it's going to happen. Um, Nathan Roth, will the Raiders do well in Vegas? I think they will. I think it's something that Gruden's not afraid of. Um, I think he can manage people. It's going to be about where they practice because players aren't going to be down on the strip if it's, you know, if they they have to live by the practice facility. Most players do live close to a practice facility. Um, you know, if it's, if it's 45 minutes away, that makes things tough. So I do feel like uh, it'll be manageable, but there will be stories. Somebody will get out of hand. There's no way that'll be, that'll be done. Um, let's see, Big Bear Marriott. How about those fish? Yep, you got to appreciate them. I got another good buddy um, that is a huge Fins fan, and uh, I owe him a steak dinner at this point. If Chiefs make Super Bowl, who would you prefer to be the matchup to be? Whew, that's a good one. Uh, I think that they can beat the Niners. The run game the Niners have worries me a little bit, but the team that I'm most afraid of is is Michael Thomas, Drew Brees, and the Saints. Um, let's see. Nice. Do you see? I'll see you in Vegas then, hopefully. All right, Will. <laughs> we'll figure it out. What do you think about Williams' extra running hard? I, I think he's he's got to make the most of it. He's a gamer, and I think he peaked last year. This is Damian we're talking about. Um, he peaked last year in the playoffs, and I think he'll do it again. All right, you guys. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. And just to call that a night. It was a great session. I appreciate you uh, sticking with me. And it looks like the mic stayed going. So hopefully that's uh, locked down now. Uh, I'm going to go have some dinner. I hope you guys have a good night. Uh, I'll try to do some film review. And, and I'll include the Sug Sack for sure. And I'll see what else I can find on him. Uh, appreciate all your time and all your support on, on the Super Chat tonight. I'll let you know when the T-shirts the come out. And we'll, uh, we'll get rounded up. So uh, keep an eye peeled for the notifications. If you're not, get subbed. Hit the notification bell so you find out when something goes up. Uh, and I know you guys are commenting away. So if you like this one, leave me a thumbs up. It helps everybody else get a, get a look at it, and we'll find more cheese fans. So you guys have a good night. I had a good time. I'll talk to you next time.